Hi, this is Raghuvir. I'll be talking today about Euclidean distance. So basically, Euclidean distance is nothing but a straight line distance between two vectors. It is used to measure similarities between two sets of data. For similar sets of data, the Euclidean distance calculated will be closer to zero. And if there are different distance will be higher than zero. Since Euclidean distance is a distance-based metric, it gives priority to objects with the lowest values with the lowest values to observe similarities between them. And coming to the formula of Euclidean distance, the Euclidean distance formula is given as, for two vectors x and y is given as square root of summation one to n, x m minus y whole square. In other, in other words, Euclidean distance between two vectors x and y is nothing but square root of sum of square differences between corresponding attributes or corresponding elements of these two vectors, x and y. So x and y are two vectors with n number of attributes, and x i and y i will be the i attributes of x and y vectors respectively. Now that we know the formula of Euclidean distance, the main question here would be how do we know if two vectors are similar or dissimilar? So if the Euclidean distance character is higher than the higher, then the vectors are said to be dissimilar. Else, if the Euclidean distance is low, then they are said to be similar. So basically, Euclidean distance is used to calculate, is used to find the dissimilarity between the vectors rather than finding the similarities between them. For example, let's consider the points, four points A, B, C, D, here, right here, uh, that are marked down in this slide. So let's find the similarities between them by using the Euclidean distance uh, with formula here, which we have discussed earlier. So to make it clear, let's mark the X and Y attributes of the given four vectors a b c d so a has 0 comma 2 as their x and y attributes here b has G, uh, 2 comma 0 as x and y attributes c has 3 comma 1 as x and y attributes d has 5 comma 1 as x and y attributes respectively now let's find out the similarities between the four points by using equivalent distance the similarities between the same Vectors will not be measured because it gives zero as a result because x minus uh, zero minus zero plus two minus two whole square will be zero. So we don't calculate for the similar vectors. We need to we will only calculate between the similar vectors like a and b, a c, a d. That's it. So the similarity measure between a and b will be calculated by using the formula like root over zero minus two whole square plus two minus zero whole square, which gives root over eight, which is nothing but two point eight. And to measure the similarity between A and C, we get root over zero minus three whole square plus two minus one whole square, which is nothing but 3.1. And similarity measured between A and D, we get uh, zero minus five whole square plus two minus one whole square, root over zero minus five whole square plus two minus one whole square, so which gives five. And for B comma C, it's gonna be two, root over two minus three whole square plus zero minus one whole square which is nothing but 1.4, I guess. And similarity, be similarity measure between B and D is going to be 2 minus, root over 2 minus 5 whole square plus 0 minus 1 whole square, which is nothing but 3.1. And for C and D, it's going to be root over 3 minus 5 whole square plus 1 minus 1 whole square, which is 2. So from this table, what we can derive is that A is closer to B. as So the similarities between A and B are very high rather than A and D. So A R D and said to be dissimilar when compared to A and B. And coming to the applications and drawbacks, uh, most uh, Euclidean distance are most commonly used for K-means neighbor, uh, K-nearest neighbors, K-means clustering and HDDB scan. Because they were great when we have low dimensional data and a magnitude of vectors is important to be measured. So it is most commonly used in this methods. Although many other measures have been developed to account for the disadvantage of Euclidean distance, it is still one of the most used distance measures for good reasons because it is incredibly initiative to use, simple to implement, and shows great results in many use cases, which we have talked earlier, like KMS clustering and HDB scan. And the drawbacks, uh, although it is a common distance measure, Euclidean distance is not uh, scale invariant, which means that distances computed might be skewed depending on the units of the features. Typically, one needs to normalize the data before processing 
or finding the distance measure between them. Moreover, as a dimensionality increases of your data, uh, of our data, the less useful Euclidean becomes. Because this has to do with the uh, dimensionality course, which relates to the notions that higher dimensional space does not act as we would initiatively expect from two or three dimensions. Uh, it struggles for the higher dimensionality vectors. So we just use them for lower dimensional vectors. So that's the disadvantage of using Euclidean distance. Uh, thank you.